Happy Wednesday. <sighs> Breath. You choose. Each of us, we make choices how we ultimately breathe. You're gonna breathe whether you try to or not. That's the beauty of our, our human nervous system and the way our bodies are set up. We can try to not breathe and then we'll pass out and then we'll breathe unless we lose breath and then we lose body function and our heart doesn't beat and all the system shuts down. But you still, we still have choices within that breath. How quickly when we want to go from each breath to the next, we decide some of that circumstance, environment, that helps inform those decisions. Slowing down the breath, slowing down our, my, for me, I used, I didn't want to slow down anything because if I slowed things down, there I was. And conversely, if I speed things up, there I am too, but the feelings, the sensations of my body, the, uh, my surroundings, my past, my mind, couldn't catch up to my body, or did. It's a very interesting evolution of things. I had to exercise as hard as I could to quiet my mind enough to get clear until I learned and was became patient enough to just sit. And that's uncomfortable still at times, but I sit more often than not than just exercise away or move away, displace any feeling I have. But you choose, each of us chooses how we perceive and interact with life. And understanding my power in that choice continues to be an evolving process. Claiming a victimhood was an old favorite. Doesn't work anymore for me. I mean, at times it does. It's like an old shirt you put on. It's like, ooh, this feels nice. If it's just a little too tight or, you know, it makes me look good or the victim doesn't make me look good in, in a lot more situations than it used to. But we have choice how we perceive the world. And I do believe that there is a collective consciousness that is overbearing, that we have an opportunity to grow through and grow beyond. Everything's a learning. I hope to stay willing to keep learning because I learn something new and then I forget because I have a forgetter. I, the fact that I remember as much as I do is a miracle. But my perceptor, I forget. I fall into old behaviors and then I remember. That's why I like the idea of, a ground, of it being this is very much a groundhog day. I can change the players, but it's the same situation. My interaction with each individual that I meet on a daily basis is an opportunity for me to be of love and service. <laughs> and if I would have said that 15 years ago, I would have choked me out. But it's true. And the ripple effect, how you greet everyone is how you greet, it can be how you greet anyone, regardless of the day you've had. If I am present in this, each of my new moments, and I'm not good at that either sometimes. If I've had a bad day, uh, I bring that bad feeling with me or the <laughs> unresolved issue or, you know, not met expectation to the next incident, and then that may turn that one on its head.
It's a grand opportunity, this journey of life. Grand opportunity to learn. And if, I mean, I don't know, for me, if, if, if you're finished learning, I, that's an interesting place to be, I guess. I don't know if you ever tap, I, I, I don't wanna ever tap out on learning and being willing to stay open. I was that way for a long time and it got me just my head hammering against the wall because nobody would change the way I thought they needed to, when I thought they needed to, how I thought they needed to, why I thought they needed to. Me, 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 me. <sighs> Big light, much love, happy Wednesday. We choose, we choose as collective too. Love and service. Gratitude. Peace.